Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Saturday, November 2nd, 2019. This year is almost done, and then I can screw up saying 2019 for the first couple of months of next year. <laughs> but anyway, uh, things are going good. The new chickens are adjusting well. They're not doing bad at all. Uh, there's, you know, they're, everybody's kind of just doing their thing, and it's pretty funny. I was like watching them this morning. And uh, there's a couple of them that are brave that came out and uh, or were intermingling. But uh, Goliath was asserting his dominance over everybody. So, But they're much calmer. Um, I did only get one egg today. So I'll have to go back in a little bit later here and check and see if there's any more. But uh, so, yeah, it, it's uh, one of those kind of days. But uh, they're adjusting. They're, they seem calmer now, which is good. So it's going to take a little bit of time. And then, of course, there's the pups. Always being goofy, playing. They're good babies. But anyway, so uh, let's just show you the sky. It uh, kind of cloudy now. We'll have to go in. We'll take a look and we'll see what kind of uh, solar we brought in today. I don't even know what I brought in today. So got my shirt on here. This obviously is available at the website preppernurse1.com if you are interested. We are legion preppers. We are legion. So that's uh, we talk about that a bit. Anyway, guys, um, I wanted to talk about getting a oh, serious, serious subject for a moment, and uh, so this was the theme of the video. I want to talk about losing someone you care about before, during, and after an SHTF event. Uh, you know, when uh, you know everybody, you know, well, I'm a prepper, so we're all going to make it. Okay, well, that's not always going to be the case. Uh, you're going to have sickness, disease accidents, stupidity, uh, lead poisoning, all those things are going to cause the demise of people. And so, uh, you know, having people in your group and losing somebody that you care about, um, that you, you know, are, were taking care of or concerned about and all those type of things, it's going to be difficult. It's not going to be an easy thing to deal with. So that's something I wanted to talk to you guys about and get your feedback on it. Um, you know, how are you going to handle that at that point? I mean, disposing of the body. Uh, will you dispose of those type of people differently than you would uh, dispose of, uh, you know, somebody that you had to dispatch that came to do you harm? Um, you know, obviously they're not going to get the same treatment. There's no doubt about that. But I just wanted to get your, your feedback on how you would handle that type of situation and what you would do. Um, you know, like I said, it's, I, in my opinion, you know, those people that were part of your group, if they were killed, they would get a proper burial. Um, any, any enemy combatants, uh, they would be burned. That's just my thing. Or they would go to become dog food and cat food, to be honest with you. That's probably what they would end up doing. I want to go in here real quick. And it may sound terrible that you would feed somebody to uh, your animals, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, in that type of situation, that's not a bad thing. It's it's meat, and it's for the animals. Um, so anyway, we've pulled in 2.4 kilowatt hours on this side today, 1.9 on this side for a total of 4.3, and it's still bringing, both sides are still bringing in power, so it's actually doing well. Not a bad day. It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon right now. Uh, I actually, today, pretty low-key, to be honest with you, uh, I started working in my room and uh, I had my my dresser uh, my nightstand I cleaned off both of those and went through everything and a lot of papers and, and that type of stuff that I had to go through so I cleaned all that up um, I have to go through the top of Eddie's dresser because I use that as well so that still has to be done then I got a bunch of boxes and stuff that I got to go through and I got to check out so those have to be done as well so it's you know it's there's still a lot to do uh, mom's coming back on Monday so that should be, uh, you know, we'll continue working on some other stuff that has to be done. I got to really get this camper out of here. So we got to finish up with what we need to do in there. So I think that's going to be our project on Monday. Uh, today, temperature wise, I think, I think we're in the 40s right now. I think we're in the 40s. I don't even know. I'd have to, I'd have to look and see. It's not super warm, I can tell you that. Um, but uh, it's not a bad day. Um, we did have some sunshine earlier, so that definitely helped. I do not have a fire going today. 
so it's comfortable in the house so I just no need for it but uh, just a very very low-key day I just kind of wanted to take a day and chill out to be honest with you so that's kind of what I've done but I've you know like I said I did a little cleaning so I, at least I did something it's always that forward progress you gotta you gotta accomplish something but there's plenty to still do um, we have to we have to break down this garden here that's got to get broken down and because uh, I think what's going to end up happening, like I said, with the trenches, are going to run this way uh, through here, and then so you know I got to get everything out of here, um, and and you know and taken care of. So uh, that's what we're going to work on. Oh, I got a truck coming in here. <laughs> I know this guy. He's uh, he does the deliveries. So hold on one second. What's going on, man? I guess he's got a delivery for me. Well, no idea what this is, guys. I'm actually doing a video right now. I won't put you on it, though. Yeah, you won't want to break the camera. <laughs> what do you got? I don't know. Oh, okay. So I have no idea what anything was even coming so just added uh, seven new chickens too to my brood out there so now I got I got 18 of them out there all together the dogs don't mess with them? well they're in fenced in, in their own area so like the, do the dogs fencing goes all the way around their area yep so Hold on a second, guys. I just want to. We'll see what we got here. I finally got my Jeep. Oh, that thing scored away that you had to get? Yeah, pretty much. Is this it? Web, web restaurant store. Uh, it's you. 9522. I have no idea. I have no idea what it is. It's light. Hmm, okay. I got no idea what to do. <laughs> well, me neither. You got a knife I could use real quick to open this up? I don't. Okay, well. my tip off, I gotta regrind it. Okay. Well, guys, I don't know what this is. Hmm. Alright, man, yeah, you have a good weekend, too. Don't work too hard. All right, so hold on a second. We're going to have to go in. You guys are going to get to see this as long with me at the same time. i just go in here and grab one of my utility knives. Hold on. Guess you didn't expect this. I didn't expect this, so... Let's see what came. So anyway, um, while we're doing this, I just want to remind everybody we do have the sale going on on the website right now. It is 15% uh, off the 60 meal bucket plan. So if you are interested in a 60 meal bucket plan, that is 15% uh, off. If you are looking to do the 120 bucket meal plan, that is... Uh, I have no idea what this is, guys. Hold on a second. Let me just turn this around. Uh, kills 99% of bacteria in just seconds. Oh, disinfecting wipes. It doesn't feel like there's any wipes in that, though. Huh. Well, that's wild. So it's a wipes pail. But I don't, there's, I don't think there's any wipes in it. It's, it's, it feels like it's empty. Okay, well, that's what that is. That's cool. So that would be actually a good thing to have. Put the wipes in there. Because it's got the top on here that you can... I'll have to open that up and take a look at that. But anyway, so I have no idea. So anyway, guys, um, we do have the 60 meal bucket plan is on sale right now. We're 15% off. The 120 bucket meal plan is 20% uh, off. 
and the 183 sample pack if you are interested in that that is 25 percent off right now so if you are interested to in adding to your freeze-dried food storage uh, definitely take advantage of that at this time so just putting that out there so if you were interested you can do that um, i am gonna go ahead and jump off of here now because you're probably like going well that sucked and that was anticlimactic there with the bucket so <laughs> i didn't expect somebody to roll in here so anyway i hope everybody's doing well i hope you're having a safe weekend um, remember guys we are all in this together that's important to remember also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love tell them every single day tomorrow is not guaranteed we never know what's going to happen in life also remember guys std it's one step at a time one thing at a time and one day at a time whatever you're trying to do whatever you're trying to accomplish you can do it the only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself nobody else can stop you okay so stay positive um you know stay away from that negativity and you will be fine i will talk to you guys all tomorrow i hope everybody's having a great day prepper nurse one out for now